Hey traders, uh, welcome back. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited uh, to share this idea with you guys and see what you think. Uh, today is, is uh, Monday, March the 22nd, 2021. And um, I had an interesting conversation <clears throat> with a trader over the weekend uh, that got me thinking about some of the stuff in my past and some of the crazy trades that we had done. Uh, as a lot of you know, <clears throat> excuse me, that have followed me uh, for a while, uh, I had the privilege for uh, quite a while there, um, many years ago, to work with Robert and Kim Kiyosaki with their Rich Dad Education Company on the stock division. I was one of about a half a dozen or so of their stock education and option education uh, trainers. And it was a cool opportunity, got to travel uh, not just the United States, but the world, got to travel the world and I taught over a hundred thousand people just the nuts and bolts and ins and outs of trading and how options work and all that good stuff and so it was a lot of fun uh, but it was challenging as well we would leave on a Wednesday uh, to go to our event you know you're spending 10 hours a week on an airplane you're living out of a suitcase and uh, we were up uh, working with the students at six, as early as six in the morning and sometimes didn't finish until 10.30 at night. Uh, and then you try to fit in a, a bite to eat every once in a while and then you jump right back on a plane and go home. And so we would do anything that we could to sort of keep it light and fun and enjoyable. And one of the things that we would do is just crazy trading contests with each other. Uh, I, we would do trade contests all the time where you know we would set a, a dollar amount that we would all trade. You couldn't go above that amount. And the first person to $500 profit uh, would buy dinner for everybody. Uh, or we would do a, a trading contest where uh, the first person with one trade to a number. So you know we would set $350 or $410 and the first person that could get to that closest, kind of like horseshoes, uh, with one trade, uh, we would buy them dinner or something like that. Um, I remember uh, a heated contest that we had uh, a while ago when uh, uh, Wi-Fi was just getting put into commercial aircraft. And uh, we happened to be on a Delta airplane, and we had a four-hour flight ahead of us, and we all had Wi-Fi, and we're like, all right, let's set a, a dollar amount, max number uh, of dollars that we can trade, and let's see over the next four hours on this flight who can make the most money uh, off of Delta Airlines, just trading DAL. Uh, and so that was fun. But one of the, the, the contests that kind of uh, put me on the map, if you will, for the Rich Dad uh, Education program, and um, uh, just kind of blew up for me, really. It was the first kind of viral notice that I ever got, was uh, an idea that had been bounty, uh, bantered around about this idea of infinite returns. And so there was a lot of things that we were talking about. Uh, we were talking about how people will say a lot, we're like, I really want this, but you know, I don't have the money or the ability to go do it. And we were like, well, you know, if you really wanted to, you would find a way, right? Uh, and then uh, also we were talking about this idea of infinite returns. Is that possible? Could you, uh, you know, do something where you really can't have infinite returns, which last time I checked my math, infinite is the best return you can get. Um, and then, you know, we were also just talking about this idea of, you know, how nice would it be to give somebody uh, just a nice raise? You know, whatever you're making, we always would be happy to make more, right? And so I had a Discover card that much like all of our credit cards uh, still to this day uh, will periodically give you a, a promo offer, right? Tra uh, do a balance transfer onto this card or take a cash advance from this card and we will give you uh, a preferential interest rate for a certain amount of time. Well, this particular card said, listen, if you take a cash advance or you do a, 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 a balance transfer onto this card, we will give you 0% interest for 12 months with a 3% fee, okay? Uh, and so the idea sprang into our heads, you know, would it be possible to say, take a $10,000 cash advance on this credit card put that money in my trading account, trade it for 12 months, and with the goal or the hope that 
you could generate about $800 a month in earnings off of this account. Now, if you could do that, uh, you know, we would uh, take this $10,000 cash advance on the credit card, we would get hit with a 3% fee, so you'd have a $10,300 balance. If you could generate about $800 a month and use that money to make your monthly payments on the credit card, when the promo 0% interest rate was said and done, you know, a year down the road, your card could be fully paid off. You've got $10,000 still sitting in your trading account. You have basically given yourself a $10,000 raise for the year. Plus, you got an infinite rate of return. Plus, you didn't put any of the, your own money into the transaction. It was all borrowed money, right? Now, uh, I, I would not recommend that you do that. First of all, this is the first caveat that I'll give you with this. In fact, most brokers, if they find out that you are using cash advances from credit cards to trade with, are going to shut you down probably very appropriately, right? So it's not an appropriate way to get funds to go trade with. But this was, the, again, one of these crazy uh, trading ideas that we did. And one of the things that was interesting was that I documented it. Every single trade, every single month for an entire year, I documented all of this online. And uh, we actually ended up bringing in close to almost uh, $12,000. I think it was something like $11,800 that we were able to bring in off of that. And, you know, of course, pay the credit card off. And here you had uh, 11000 or so dollars just sitting there in your account. And you'd given yourself a nice raise. Well, I, I remember this because um, this weekend I was talking with uh, uh, another trader and he mentioned a couple numbers and those numbers were $40,000. And uh, he referenced it in this aspect that, you know, he had done some research online and found that most grown adults, most people over age 45 had no more than $40,000 saved in for retirement that's you know the average of what grown adults have saved in this country and he also mentioned that that was roughly about what the average earnings were for an individual in the united states about forty thousand dollars now it obviously depends what career you're in and where you live and de demographics and all those things but his point was that you know most people are out there earning forty thousand dollars a year and as a grown adult all they have saved is forty thousand dollars a year and there's got to be a better way, right? Obviously, if they are earning forty thousand a year, and they're living on forty thousand a year, it seems like they should be able to retire on forty thousand a year. But you're not going to be able to retire on forty thousand a year of income with forty thousand dollars of invested assets, or could you, right? So here again comes this crazy sort of idea or contest, and uh, I was just like, you know what? Let's do it again. Let's do this again, and so. Uh, starting today, today is March 22nd, uh, 2021. Starting today, I am going to start this process again. Now, I'm not going to take money from a credit card again because uh, that is just inappropriate funds for putting into the stock market. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, approximately $40,000 and I am going to start trading that uh, today. And we will document this and we'll trade this uh, for a year or however long it takes uh, until we set the goal of bringing in $40,000, right? So this is the goal. This is the hope. Can I set $40,000 aside, start trading it with uh, various strategies on various underlying assets and uh, bring in $40,000 or a 100% return, right? Pretty easy math, 100% return in a one year period of time. Could you actually give yourself a $40,000 raise based off of what you already have saved if you are an average individual, if that number is correct? We'll find out, we'll find out. I'm gonna document this journey we're starting it today, and uh, for many of you who are inside of my live trading room, you're gonna get those live, okay? So I'm gonna show those trades to you guys that are in my live trading room. You'll get those live while I do them. Today's will be the first. Um, and, but, and for the rest of you, you can follow right along. Uh, it will be obviously after the fact, after they've been recorded and uploaded to the YouTube channel here. But nevertheless, you'll see uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
uh, the uh, Discover experiment that I did where we brought in almost $12,000 off of a $10,000 account in a one-year period of time. There were some drawdowns in there. There were some ugly trades in there. There were some times when you're like, man, I don't know if this is going to work or not. And I would anticipate that this is going to be the same. Uh, but uh, and, and I'm also not going to stick my neck out on the chopping block at this point, day one before we've even done a trade, and say, oh yeah, this is going to be easy. We're going to make 100% return in a year. But uh, I know that that potential exists. And so uh, if I can keep my head down and keep focused, we will see. But one of the things that I've always tried to do and always try to be is fully transparent. So you guys will see this develop. Uh, I, I'm certainly not going to wait the year until I find out whether or not it worked or not uh, to show it to all of you. So uh, I'm going to try to uh, create a little section, a little category in the YouTube channel for each one of these videos just so that we can track the progress as it goes. Uh, but it uh, should be an interesting journey. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to just call it uh, uh, 40 with 40. 40 with 40. And uh, that'll be the goal and we'll see where we end up with. So today is our first day starting that out. Stay tuned.